Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different than usual and there won't be any cooking. I'm just going to be uh, talking about some different things that I feel like you may be interested in. Um, also, I'm going to give you a tip on peeling citrus and we're just going to kind of talk as I show you these different things. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. Anything you see here, I paid for myself, and I just thought you would be interested in it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is when I was sick and uh, started feeling better, I started craving hot food, hot spicy food. And that is so unlike me because I... Uh, if you remember when I would make a video and use cayenne pepper, you'd have to have a magnifying glass to see the tiny little amount I would put. But now I cannot get enough of um, the Louisiana uh, Kitchen Popeyes their ghost pepper wings. I absolutely love those. They are so flavorful and so good and so hot. And I just love those. And also, uh, they have run out for, this is the third day. Uh, it's kind of like when they were having the competition with Chick-fil-A over the best chicken sandwich and by the way Kaylin says that um not chick-fil-a but um popeyes goes overboard with their chicken that they just put way too much chicken on it so that's first time i've ever heard uh, her say there's too much chicken on something but um Anyway, another, anyway, they've been out for three days of the ghost pepper chicken wings. And so I decided I would go to KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and try their um, uh, Why do I always have it in my mind till the moment I'm going to say it and then it falls out of my brain? The um, uh, Nashville hot chicken tenders and so I got those and they are so good too and so I don't know which one I like the best they both have um, different tastes really um, Nashville hot is more um, wet the um, the breading and all seems a little more um, wet. And the Popeyes just seems like they have sprinkled some ghost pepper um, chili on them. But whichever one, if you like hot, you'll love either one of those, I think. But all that to say, I ordered some of this ghost pepper um I think it says tickle something. And um, I got that to put on my chicken and stuff because, uh, you know, it'll help save money instead of going to the store or the restaurant. And so it came today. And when Caleb got home from work, I had him take a little taste. And he was coughing and all that. And he said, it's really hot. But it's really good. So that's what's going on with the heat. And I really love it. And another thing that uh, I've eaten for quite a while is the ramen noodles that you get in the uh, Japanese store. And uh, they are so, so, so hot. But I put a little glop of sour cream in it and mix it up. And I, depending on how much sour cream you put, 
you can, um, it'll be easier for you to handle the heat. But those ramen noodles are so good. They have such a good flavor. And so I've, I've enjoyed that. So moving on to the next thing, I have two of these and I cannot keep bowls around here. I send stuff home with my kids and I never get my bowls back. And so um, to try to help with storage and having things um, more compact, I decided to get these collapsible bowls. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit so you can see. But this is actually three bowls. There's one lid. And then here is another lid. And then here is the third lid. And so this red one is the smallest bowl. So when you get ready to use it, you just take your thumbs and push your bowl out. There's your bowl. And you just put your little lid on it, which I'm trying to figure out which one. That would not be it. Anyway, now I messed up on which one. Oh, that's a bowl. Here you go. You get your little lid and you put it on your bowl. And there you go. And it saves so much room after you wash it and you let it dry then you just collapse it and it goes in your uh in your drawer and here is the middle size i believe you just push it out with your thumbs and there's your bowl with your lid and then here is the biggest bowl and you know depending on what you buy you can get all size bowls but um anyway i got these and i think for three lids and three bowls it was like um eleven dollars and something on amazon and it got a real high rating and um so this is what i'm gonna be using and at 11 something for three bowls and three li lids, it's not that bad. So when I have to replace them, it won't hurt the pocketbook as bad as some bowls. And I might try to get a couple bowls that are maybe even a little bigger than the biggest on here. All right. The next thing I wanted to show you is how I do some of my recipes. Um, the recipes that I get from y'all and recipes that I cut out of books. This is not recipes like I um, write down from the internet or something like that. But this is what I do. And I just thought it was kind of interesting. I have a little book. And so, when y'all send me a recipe, I like to keep it the way y'all send it. And, you know, not recopy it. There's no need to recopy it. But anyway, I tape it on a page in my book, just like y'all send it. And a lady named Maureen sent me blender salsa and so when i get around to it i'm going to be making that recipe and so there's just all kinds 
of uh, different recipes that y'all have sent. Do it like this. And uh, I just tape just a little bit of tape to it. And there was a, an envelope or a paper, I thought, yeah, here, somebody may recognize their recipe from that paper. But anyway, that's how I do what y'all send me. And so I can look through and I fold the recipe so that I don't have to pull it off of the paper. I just can open it up. And then, uh, this is how this was. Then, I turn it upside down and go to the back. Or I don't turn it upside down. Maybe I turn it upside down. This one got away from me. Anyway, recipes that I found in magazines and stuff, I put on the back side of the notebook. And so I can go through here, and if I don't care for the recipe, then I can just pull it off because I've used just a little bit of tape and I can throw the recipe away and uh, that'll be that. So that is my system for the recipes y'all send and the ones that I get out of books. And then the last thing I wanted to show you I have shown this before. If you see that, I forgot to put my bib on and I got some uh, Nashville hot chicken grease on me. So I'm going to use some like spray and wash or something like that. Or actually, I use purple power. And when I take off something that's dirty, I'll spray it with the purple power and then just throw it on in the dirty clothes and and uh, then when it gets washed, it usually has had plenty of time to soak and uh, this grease will come out. But that's what that is. I really need to start thinking about wearing a bib. But I have shown y'all this before, but it's been a long time ago. And so I thought I would show you again because this is uh, starting the season where I think it would be helpful. But this is grapefruit, but and you can do it with a grapefruit, an orange, uh, a navel orange, any kind of citrus that uh, is hard to peel. Like a navel orange is usually pretty easy to peel, so you may not want to do this, but we're going to do it with a grapefruit. Now here you see the end where the stem was. So you take your little pear knife and be real careful and don't cut yourself. And you stick it in and you just cut completely around that little place where your stem was. So now you can see and just pull it on off. Then you want to take the end of your knife and go in and you you only want to go as thick as the skin is. You don't want to go real deep. And if you don't go deep enough, it won't work. It's not hard, but you just cut all the way around. And you can hopefully see. And then, okay, that's running like that. So now we're going to go this way and cut it again 
only getting as deep as the skin is. And then we're gonna do it another time. And another time. And I believe that that's, I believe that's all you need to do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. And that looks like I've got plenty of things. So now you're ready to peel it. So just stick your finger in the, um, you know, where one of these little sections is and just pull back and then you just come down through there and there your fruit is peeled and you just get another little section come down through there and it will not take you but just a second to peel your grapefruit your orange whatever it is that you're peeling so anyway that's that you'll have to go back if that white bothers you too much you'll have to go back and kind of clean that up some but that is my tip on peeling citrus so i believe that that is all that i had for you uh today to just kind of chat about for a little bit and show you and i hope you enjoyed uh, what i showed you i hope you found something that maybe you'd like to try and i hope that y'all know how special i think feel like y'all are and how much you mean to me and uh, whether you've said something in a comment or you've sent a card or whatever it means so much to me to know that y'all pray for me and my family and you love us like you do and we love y'all so um, with that I'm gonna go ahead and go and I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you soon Bye-bye.